Hi everyone, my name is Rick and welcome to Rick's 1 through 5th scale models. First of all, I'd like to thank every one of my subscribers. I just hit a little over 900 as of about an hour ago, 915. Very exciting. Uh, special thanks to everyone who subscribed and anybody who does subscribe from here on out. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm doing this video today to kind of answer a bunch of questions I've been getting. Um, those questions are, first of all, why do I do modern German? Um, obviously, as someone put it, I'm obviously an American, and yes, that's true. Uh, another question is, why am I so passionate about the models I build and the way I do it? Um, lastly, kind of where am I going with all this and what are my goals? Uh, things like that. So what I'd like to do is take a little bit of time to kind of address those points and kind of show you where I come from, what I'm doing, and where I plan on going from here on out for future videos. So, let's get started. So, the first question I got asked was, why do I do modern German or the Bundeswehr? Um, that's a pretty basic question. It makes a lot of sense. Um, I am an American. I live in America. Uh, why would I want to do the modern German versus the de other different uh, options out there? Um, so, going back in history for me, uh, in the mid-70s, my dad was doing Modern American, and what he was doing was wargaming, where he would build hundreds of these, and then they would have different uh, areas they would take the models out to and do wargaming, where they would move them around like chess pieces, and doing tactics and things like that, and have mock battles. Um, you know, I was a young kid, wasn't a teenager yet, but I was looking at wanting to get into it too, and so my dad and I sat down and talked, and looked at what options there were. He was already doing modern American, there were other people doing uh, modern Russian, uh, things like that, and I wanted to do a NATO group. And genetically and heritage wise, I'm German, so it kind of made sense. And also looking at what models were out there available at the time uh, that you could build, there weren't a lot of other countries' options. So that there spurred the interest in the modern, at that point, West German military and I started building. Um, you pretty much had your Ateliers, your Monogram, and uh, your uh, Tamiya kits. There were some other companies out there making some stuff, um, but there weren't a lot of options. But that's where I started. So all the way through the 70s into the uh, mid 80s, I kept building models and built quite a little force of the older uh, Leopard 1 series. Uh, a couple of Tamiya modders, some um, M113s by Tamiya, and then a uh, Jeopard by Tamiya also. But as young men do, life changed and I moved on from building models into dating, careers, all that kind of stuff, having a family. So fast forward to about four years ago, uh, retired and decided to get back into models, and models have changed quite a bit. Uh, what was great quality, such as a Tamiya or an Atelier, there's a lot of better stuff out there now. Um, there are still great kits, but the quality level and the expectations um, of the models in general has changed dramatically. Um, and actually, this was very exciting. So I jumped back in and started building now a modern German army, uh, part of the Bundeswehr. Uh, so started doing my research, getting books, um, just learning about how things had changed and where we were at as far as the modeling field goes and what uh, models were out there. And there's a lot more stuff. So I started purchasing, buying, building, um, and learning a lot of things I didn't realize at the time, such as one simple thing, the way they're painted. I, my, my first models I built were painted with the wrong colors and they looked okay, but they don't accurate and uh, which goes to my next point what I'm trying to accomplish here is a accurate portrayal of the vehicle honoring the quality of the machinery the equipment uh, and everything that goes into it and slowly but surely developing uh, modifications to make it look more realistic uh, that's kind of the fun of the whole thing I mean, building a bunch of models after a while you build four or five of the same model it gets kind of boring, but by doing all the modifications, the personalization, that's the fun part. Uh, and then I discovered this amazing thing called weathering. Uh, very, very fun. It makes it 
10 times better. So um, I continued on down that path. Now, one of the things that came out of that was the what's the technology out there such as resin printing. So I recently purchased a 3D resin printer and I'm going to start getting into that field designing some of the specialized parts that go on the models and the modifications needed because I mean there's a lot of great stuff out there but not everything is out there. Uh, so I'm working on that right now. Now when you look at building a model um, what I'm doing is not just building the vehicle I'm building all the support vehicles to go with that, and that's going to be the trucks, the ambulances, the engineering vehicles. And the great thing now is, is most of those models are out there, but not everything. So there's going to be a lot of scratch building and modifications. Uh, the wonderful thing, like I said, is, is compared to when I got into it as a kid, there's so many more model options. The only sad part is some of the models they aren't making anymore. So it involves a lot of creative searching and looking for some of the different kits. Uh, Ravel's made some pretty nice kits out there, but a lot of them are not making, such as my one of my favorite models, the Martyr. It's hard to find and acquire. Uh, but that's one of the vehicles that I'm planning on doing some resin modifications to create the new Martyr 1A5 uh, with the supplemental armor around the infantry fighting area. Um, also, just the fueling vehicles, Hobby Boss came out with the fueler and the new trucks, those are really sharp and nice, uh, neat things to see. I've got a bunch of resin kits to bid, plus you've got Hobby Boss coming out with some engineering vehicles, uh, Rifle's got some new Leopards with interiors, very excited to look for that and see and build those. Uh, and then um, just the overall building of the hobby and the options coming out. So one of the other things that you know I've expanded into is adding the camouflage netting and uh, upgrading the vehicles to make them look more realistic, and that's the part of the weathering I'm really enjoying. But one of the things that I am going to be doing is kind of expanding what I'm building as far as the modern German and going all the way back to post-World War II stuff, doing East and West German equipment. Um, not necessarily multiple of the same vehicle, but building one or two of each type. Uh, some putting them on dioramas, some not. Really building into the history of the German military after World War II, the equipment they used, uh, trying to build accurate representations of what they went through in their stage to get to, which is the modern German Bundeswehr military. Uh, I'm going to be starting a T-72 build uh, shortly. Um, and then from there, I've got a Leopard 1A5 to build and I've got a Leopard 2A4 to build. Those are all three of those are going to be on dioramas and built for at the era they use them um, scenarios in which were accurate portrayals of the history of those vehicles and uh, their deployments. So I want to once again thank all my subscribers, everybody watching the video. Please ask questions, comments, criticisms. I appreciate everything. Uh, once again, I can't say it enough. Thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, when I started filming this video, I was at uh, 9.15, now I'm at 9.29. Um, this actually was kind of a hard video to do, only because it's I'm not talking about models, I'm talking about myself, and it's really more about doing the models. But I did want to answer the questions that people have asked and uh, kind of give an idea of why I'm doing what I'm doing and where I'm going from here. Anyway, thanks again. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Uh, that makes a big difference. You can get me on my Facebook page at Rick's 135th Scale Models. And you can email me. Uh, take care, everybody. See you on the next one. More videos coming soon. And I'll catch you later. Bye.